Okay, sixth graders, today we're going to be taking a look at graphing linear functions. By the end of this lesson, you're going to be able to identify and graph linear functions. So a linear equation is an equation whose graph is a line. And a linear function is a function whose graph is a non-vertical line. So it's essentially a linear equation, except for the, the stipulation of the fact that the line cannot be vertical. Right? So we're going to graph the linear function y equals 2x plus 1. So once again, we have our input, which is x, our rule, which is 2x plus 1, our output, which creates the ordered pair. So for example, if x is 0, we have 2 times 0 plus 1 would give us an output of 1, and our ordered pair would be 0, 1. So now you go ahead and pause the video and try the next two on your own. So we have 2 times 1, which is 2, plus 1 is 3. And then our next would be 2 times 2, which is 4, plus 1 would be 5. Oops. So our ordered pair would be 2, 5. Now we're going to go ahead and graph those. So we have 0, 1, 1, 3, and 2, 5. Now the thing about linear functions, if you notice, our points make a line, which is what makes it linear. So now let's just look at another example. We're going to graph the linear function y equals 4x minus 2. So now you go ahead, uh, pause the video at this point, and try and fill out the table and graph your linear function and see how you do. So our first one, with our rule, we're going to have 4 times 1 minus 2. Well, 4 times 1 is 4. Minus 2 would be 2, so our output is 2. Quarter pair is 1, 2. And we have 4 times 2, which is 8 minus 2 would be 6 and then we have 4 times 3 which would be 12 minus 2 which would be 10 so ordered pair would be 3 10 so now we have the ordered pair 1 2 2 6 and then 3 10 we kind of envision where those are off of our graph. We'll be up here, and then once again, we notice that they form a line. Now let's look at a real life situation. The fastest, fastest moving tectonic plates on Earth move apart at a rate of 15 centimeters per year. Scientists began studying two parts of these plates when they were 30 centimeters apart. We want to write a linear function that describes the movement over time and graph the data to show the movement over the next four years. So with our x values, because they tell us over the next four years, our x values are going to be 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, so our y, or our output, you have to think about where your starting point is. So our starting point is 30 centimeters. So they're 30 centimeters apart, but they're, the two plates um, are moving apart at a rate of 15 centimeters per year. So they're going to add 15 additional centimeters per year, and our year is going to be x. So down here, if you wanted to write year, and then we have their distance apart. Now, x values of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 make sense. But our y values, if you notice I tried to cut them off a little bit, don't actually make sense for us to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Because they're moving apart at a rate of 15 centimeters per year, we can change our scale to be whatever we want. So I'm actually going to make mine 15. So it's going to go 15, 30... 45, 60, 75, and 90. So when I do my output now, after one year, they're additional 45, or they're an additional 15 centimeters apart. So instead of being 30, 
So now 45, so our first ordered pair is 1, 45. After 2 years, it's going to be 60 centimeters apart, so it would be 2, 60. After 3, they're going to be 75. And after 4 years, they're going to be 90 inches apart already. Now I'm just going to graph those. So I have 1, 45. And if we wanted to graph their starting point at year 0, which would be 30, we could do that. You're going to notice it's actually going to still line up in that same order. And then we could actually even show this to make a prediction without doing the calculations following our line. So at 5, we'd be another 15 apart.